Even though I never planned it, 25 years in the history of my show seemed to be a landmark year. Um, both with Les Miserables and recently with Phantom of the Opera, I've been able to come up with a brand new production which is just as good as the original production and is embraced by a whole new audience. It's very exciting to have Miss Saigon back in London. It's going to be, I think, a great, passionate and loving experience. It's a wonderful moment. But of course, I've been waiting for the right theatre, um, which I now finally have, the Prince Edward. I can't tell you how excited I am to have yet another go at Miss Saigon, one of the probably most spectacular productions of my entire career. You think that the lightning doesn't strike twice, and in fact, sometimes it does. The real first question is, who will be Miss Saigon? She was discovered uh, doing a high school concert in New York. And it's a miracle because she sees Saigon as if she was king. Even though she has not done any other shows uh, before except in high school, I think she's a wonderfully natural actress. She comes into the studio and the game does the trick. Nights I wake up reaching for him I feel his shadow brush my hand but it's just moonlight on my bed Was he a ghost? Was he a lie? That made my body laugh and cry Then by my side the proof I see His little one Gods of the sun, bring him to me. John is a very, very important part to anchor the show and is part of the conscience of the show with his great opening of the second act song called Guidoi. Um, and when we created the new production um, in 2004, the person we had playing this role was Hugh Maynard and he is absolutely one of the best people who've ever played this role and he was such a baby when he did it then that we've asked him back to do it even though he's been out of the theatre for some time leading a rock band called Tenors of Rock that were featured in the X Factor in the last year. We do, the dust of life conceived in hell and born Strife. We owe them fathers and our family A loving home they never knew Because we know deep in our hearts That they are all our children One of the other key parts in Miss Saigon is the role of Ellen, the wife of Chris. To play that great role I, I, is an actress who's from Australia. And I'm a sick Lord Michel Shonda came up with a wonderful new music. It must be at least the 15th version of uh, Ellen's song, but it's, it's very good and she, she will be a wonderful, a wonderful Ellen. We sweetly, fill, we sweetly fill with no you won't. No and yes, I and will. Yes, you I wonder will. how we made it down the aisle. One of the most important smaller roles in Miss Saigon is the role of Gigi because she has the first big moment of the show. And I'm really thrilled that we have found one of the leading star talents uh, in the Philippines at the moment. She's a major, major recording artist and star on television. And she is going to come to London, a beautiful, beautiful girl with an amazing voice, to play Gigi. They are not nice, they're mostly noise. They swear like men, they screw like boys. I know there's nothing in their hearts. But every time I take the pivotal role of Chris, the person playing it, has had an extraordinary story. I first came across him uh, for the 20th anniversary of Les Miserables, 
when he was a schoolboy. We were so impressed with him in the school edition, we gave him the role in 2009, when he'd grown up a bit, of Marius in London. And that led on to him to being cast as one of the students in the movie in 2011. Um, and from that, he was, uh, he was taken by the National Theatre into the company of War Horse in London. And now he's going to change horses. And I'm really thrilled that he's going to play Chris in this new production. If you've been there tonight, you might know how it feels To be struck to the bone in a moment of breathless delight Do I stay and do I dance? There's no doubt that Jonathan Price was one of the great reasons Miss Saigon uh, became a worldwide success. His performance was quite extraordinary. And because of what he did with the original show, we were subsequently able to find Asian performers to actually play the role in their own brilliant way. So the engineer, his name is John John Briones. And when I first started to audition in 1988 in the Manila, he was working as a sort of runner in the uh, produce, local producer's office out there that was helping us set up the auditions for the show. And he blagged his way into the rehearsal room and we gave him an audition. And remarkably, he got into the original London cast and worked alongside Jonathan Price there. But I think now it's marvellous. This time round, we have the perfect Asian performer to play the role for the new production in London. On stage each night, Fred Astaire, the American dream. Schlitz down the drain, pop the champagne. It's time we all entertain my American dream. 25 years ago, when we first did Miss Saigon, we couldn't have conceived of bringing such an extraordinary international cast together from all colours of the world. To do this now is one of the most exciting things for all of us on the creative team, to bring these great talents around the world and give London a great new design.